Thank you for stopping in again at Nine World Chronicles. And today I wanted to talk a little bit more about Baal. And I've done a couple of pieces on this deity, breaking down, you know, like even his chariot. You can check that video out. Um, but Baal has a lot of meanings. Now, this is a name that's been heard in various cultures since antiquity. And if we think about it, Baal is still one of the more popular god figures or, or deities from history. I saw recently in a, in a, in a new show, uh, Ash vs. Evil Dead, they were referencing Baal, and in this case, he was a demon who they were able to summon. So there's always been all these questions about Baal, and he's been presented not only in Canaanite culture, but also in the Abrahamic Christian beliefs, Semitic beliefs, and today I want to talk about his role in Kemetic belief system. Now, Baal, who has been known as Hadad, was initially a Canaanite Phoenician god of fertility, weather, and rainstorms. Now, he was obviously a Western Semitic deity who was adopted into Kemetic culture in the same way that we adopted Anat and Astarte, those being times when they were invasions or into other lands, so taking over new lands and new people and bringing in their cultures or immigrants coming in, so Semitic immigrants coming into the kingdom and bringing with them their belief system. Now, obviously, he is often shown in a couple of different lights. Baal is seen as a very powerful figure, as we can see here, and was known to be a war god, often shown with a club, a sword, or a spear. But known as a god of storms, he also wills the thunderbolt. And this would be a bit of a complex expression, because Set also represented storm and comedic belief system, these two were all always closely linked together. Now, while Baal was seen as being a war god and a rain god, that led him to being fertility, the ancient Chemites saw rain as different. Again, they saw the Nile as the source of life. This was about uh, rejuvenation during the indonation of the Nile River. So they didn't necessarily see storms as bringing life-bringing events as some other cultures did. So they never had that attachment to him as a uh, uh, bringer of fertility, but they saw storms as more of a violent aspect, more chaotic, hence the association with Set, but also that would pass on to Baal as well. But he is known and appreciated for his fighting skills, and there are uh, spell texts geared towards exercising demons in which both Set and Baal are summoned. Because they had the fighting skills, Baal was seen as a as a as a warrior, so he would be called to combat these demons. And in fact, there is an ancient story about Baal where he fights to the death against the god of death and ster sterility. So he was very important. This was Mott that he ends up fighting against. And he's protecting um, against death, against like transitioning to death, and also bringing virility back to mankind. Now, the worship of Baal spread to Kemet from the Canaanites during basically the first millennium BCE. And he was continued and worshipped by even the Pharaoh or the Nasut Ramses during the 19th dynasty, which is basically uh, 1295 BCE. And Ramses even took on names or titles that reflected both Baal and Set, showing how this influence or the synergy between these two continues to exist. Now, interestingly enough, through some Babylonian pronunciations, Baal was morphed into the name Bel, or he became the name Bel, and ultimately he became the Greek god Belos, as the Greeks also interpreted these gods and belief systems, and would later be identified with Zeus. Because of his ability to control storms and lightning, he bears a very strong association with Zeus and may have simply been reinterpreted as Zeus. So lots of history with Baal, who's been covered for thousands of years in various cultures to still be talked about in modern tellings of demons and gods is astounding how far the reach of Baal actually is. Um, so I just wanted to get in. I'll talk a little bit more about some of his abilities, what it means to be a storm god or a thunder god in association with other deities as well. Again, if you have something to add to this piece about Baal, please do so in the comment section. And as always, if you enjoyed the videos, please hit the like and subscribe and click the notification bell so you'll be in the loop when new videos drop.